can you drive high in Nevada? No, obviously you cannot drive high in Nevada. And a lot of people make the mistake of thinking they have a prescription for a medication and that allows them to take that medication and get behind the wheel. It doesn't. It's incumbent upon you to not take medication that is impairing your ability to drive safely. So one interesting thing is with marijuana and medical marijuana recently, and there has been a recent change in the law in 2021. Our legislature did recognize that marijuana stays in the system, sometimes for quite some time after smoking or consuming, and a person might not necessarily be high, and meaning their ability to drive is not impaired. So they got rid of what we call the per se law for misdemeanor DUIs. So there's no legal limit for marijuana in your system. The test is gonna be, was your ability to drive impaired or not? And so if you feel like your senses are a little bit off, you better not get behind the wheel because that is how the prosecution is gonna prove that you were DUI. So can you smoke marijuana or consume medication that has an effect on your ability to drive and then still get out on the roads after that effect is worn off? Yes. But can you get out on the roads after consuming that if it's still having an effect on you? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I've seen a lot of cases as I was a prosecutor, and this would scare people if they knew how often it was happening, where people fell asleep at the wheel, foot on the brake, car in drive, and someone called 911 because the person was asleep at the wheel. And I'm going to tell you, nine times out of ten, there's alcohol involved, but it's always combined with something else. And prosecutors are going to go a little bit harder on that case uh, because you should know better than to be out on the road in that condition.